Welcome back to another Simple Bream Tech video. I'm Radio Zane, and today we'll be looking at using VST instruments in the free DAW Traction 7. I've done a couple of other videos on Traction 7. If you're interested in checking those out, I will link them below. But for now, let's hop into Traction and get started. We're going to create a new project by clicking here. If you already have a project started, you can just use that, that's fine. But if you're starting a new one, once you give it a name, double click on it here in the projects view, and that'll take us into it. Today, we're going to be looking at using the piano roll to draw in the notes. You won't need a MIDI keyboard to create music this way. You can just draw in the notes, which is great for people that do more recording of real instruments and don't use virtual instruments too often. First, let's load up our virtual instrument. If you don't have any VST instruments yet, there are hundreds of free instruments out there. I recommend checking out the free section on pluginboutique.com. They also have some great deals on paid instruments every so often. It's a great way to build up your VST library. So back to Traction. If you don't see the VST that you've already installed, you may need to scan your computer for plugins by going to Settings, Plugins, then clicking on Scanning and Sorting, then either scan for new or updated VST plugins or scan for new or updated VST3 plugins. It all depends on what type you're gonna be using. We'll just click here and there should be a couple of folders here by default. If you don't see the folder that you want it to scan, you can just click on this plus sign here and scroll to whatever folder it is you want traction to scan. Okay, back to inserting the instrument. You can either go up to this gray plus sign, right click, and then drag your instrument in, or you can right click over here in the mixer area and go to add new plugin and then select from a list here. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using MT Power Drum Kit. This is a great free drum plugin that you can download and get started making music with right away. Once you've loaded your VST into your track, you may want to go over to the right side where the track name is, double click, and expand the track so you can see it better. Then press the G key on your computer keyboard to insert an empty MIDI clip. You can also right click on the track and select insert new MIDI clip. Once that's done, you'll see the empty MIDI region. You can make this region bigger or smaller by clicking the outer triangle, holding and dragging it as big or as small as you like. You can now draw your MIDI beat or pattern into the piano roll you can choose the note length by clicking over here and selecting whatever size it is you want it to be. Or you can hover over the note until you see the left to right arrows and click and drag the note as big or as small as you'd like. So I'm going to create a basic drum beat that's about two bars long. Once we have the pattern that we want, we can copy and paste it over and over by using control C to copy and control V to paste. And you can now copy that over as many times as you need. If you'd like to zoom in to do some more finer details, you can easily just click on the plus sign right beside the Z over in the corner here and zoom in as far as you'd like to go. Now, what if you'd like to change up the velocity of each note so it's not so robotic? Very easy. Hover over the clip, go over to the velocity button, click that, then click and drag the velocity node up or down to your desired velocity. You can add VST effects to the instrument track by just adding it to the track after the instrument VST. Or you could also render that track to an audio file and then load in that audio onto a new track and then put the VST effects on that track. And that's about it for working with a VST instrument in Traction and using the piano roll. I'll be creating another video looking at working with VST instruments with a MIDI controller. If you're interested in seeing some more of these simple how-to videos, you can subscribe to the channel. If not, thank you for dropping by and maybe we'll talk again later. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane and we'll talk soon. <laughs>